You shall know the truth. The truth will make you free. Some, some of you say, well, I pro- Corey Ten Boom prophesied a great revival coming to these hills. You know what she was doing? She was seeing what the Spirit sees here. Not about time. It's what he sees here. And even if there is a timing in it, we can pull tomorrow in today by just believing. I'm not against Corey Ten Boom, but I don't need her to prophesy to me that God is doing a great thing in these hills. Because, and I'm not looking for the Holy Grail, running around looking for the one meeting that's going to spark the whole revival. You hear it all the time, especially Branson. She actually prophesied it in Arkansas, but up Branson, they think it's, that's the only time ever Branson wants to identify with Arkansas. This is with that revival that Corey Tim Boom prophesied. But what I'm trying to tell you, I'm not against Corey Tim Boom, but I don't care because I don't believe in Corey Tim Boom. I don't stay in her word. I stay in his word. And if there's a revival in the land or not, there's a revival in me. There's a revival in you, which means there's a revival in this place. There's a revival in our community. And anything that God does or has done, it is great and mighty and glorious. And you, you can see that literally anywhere you go. You can prophesy that same truth everywhere. Do I believe? Yep. Am I against Corey Tim Boom and her prophet? Not at all. I'm just telling you, you don't have to run here, there, and everywhere trying to find somewhere where Corey Tim Boom prophesied about because she wasn't at a church. She was standing in a field somewhere between Alpena and Green Forest. I know for a fact. I know who she's with. I know when she prophesied. I know how she prophesied. I know where it was. I, I'm not guessing. I know. Y'all okay? And so it don't matter. It's not about where. Is it? And that's the problem with revival. There's always one a coming. There's always something coming. Jesus said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's within your reach. You've been told all your life it's coming. He says, I tell you, change your mind. It's at hand. It's within reach. We've been told all our life that God is coming, that there's a revival coming, that God's going to do something. Change the way you think because it is at hand. And, or in other words, it's within our reach now and the kingdom of God is forcefully advancing and forceful men lay hold of it. Or it's another way of said, the kingdom of God suffers violence. It doesn't really suffer. It allows for violence and the violent take it by force. Are you hearing me? It's here. It's around you. If you need something from God, if you've been in that circle pattern your whole life and you're wanting to break out of that pattern, you don't need a new husband. You don't need a new wife. You don't need a new car. You don't need a new house. You need to get out of that pattern and throw yourself at the feet of God and seek him until he gives you his spirit because where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Let's see.